Hey guys, welcome to the video. A very wet, rainy, miserable day here in Southampton. I'm out for my daily walk, but I've just taken some shelter to record this quick video. In today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you guys five tips for the development of youth footballers in helping them reach their full potential. Now, if you're a parent and you've got kids that play football, hopefully this will be of some use to you. If you're a, a player yourself who plays for a youth team or at a high level, hopefully you can utilize some of these as well. And of course, if you're a coach, you can use these to give this to your players. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get into tip number one. Number one, set yourself some goals. Now, whether that be a short-term goal of, I'm gonna challenge myself to practice with the ball 10 to 15 minutes each day for the next week, or maybe a long-term goal of, throughout the course of this season, I'm gonna try my best to make every single training session. I'm gonna turn up to every match five minutes early, and ultimately, I'm gonna set myself an ultimate long-term goal of reaching my full potential. Number two, enjoy the process. Be excited to train, knowing that as you're training, as you're practicing, not only are you doing and playing the game that you love, but you're also getting closer and closer to those goals that you've set for yourself and ultimately reaching your full potential within the game. Set your own standards. When it comes to training, when it comes to matches, I've seen firsthand as a coach how some people can start to mess around but ultimately it's your focus and your attention to detail when it comes to training and practice which is going to be the difference. Stay focused, stay driven and know that what you're doing is getting you closer and closer to the goals that you set for yourself. Whilst you focus and give that attention to your craft and to what you're trying to achieve, you inspire others to stay more focused and reach their full potential. Work on your weaknesses. Spending time on areas of your game that need work and need development is so, so important. We all can go down the park and practice our favorite skills or you know, practice our favorite shots or anything like that. But ultimately, if you know that you need to develop in one area or one or more areas of your game, whether that's your left foot, your first touch, your receiving technique, go up there and practice that over and over and over again. You never want to be in a situation in a game where you're uncomfortable. If you're uncomfortable doing something, practice to get more comfortable in doing it. As you do that, not only will your game improve, but your overall confidence will improve. And when you go on the pitch, it's just going to be another pass. It's not going to be something which is going to be of a worry to you, because you know that you've put the work in at home, in practice, in helping you to achieve your goals. Failure is a necessary ingredient of success. Now whether you've had a bad game, a bad training session, you're struggling with something at the moment, rather than focusing on the negatives and thinking, I can't do that, I'm gonna give up. Use it as a positive, use it as drive and motivation to know that you may not be there now, you may not be good enough this week, but next week you're gonna be better. The week after that you're gonna be better. Keep practicing, stay focused, and if you continue to work on your weaknesses, then when it comes to the game, you may make these mistakes, but you know that the work you've been putting in behind the scenes is gonna help you to develop and grow as a player. Each week, you're gonna see growth and development on your part. You're gonna get better and better, more comfortable on the pitch, and ultimately, all of these tips together are gonna to help you to become the player that you know that you can be and reach your full potential. Thanks for watching today's video guys. Hopefully these tips have helped you. I haven't really touched upon it today guys, but for me, I feel football is a great tool in not only helping you develop on the pitch, but also in life. So I think by implementing these skills, it's gonna make you more confident, it's gonna give you accountability, drive, commitment, hard work and dedication. All skills that can help you not only develop within the game, but within life. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Uh, if you did, then drop a comment below yeah. and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Cheers. I come and go like a ride, ride round. They don't want the two be going nah, nah.